she's she's the boss, so. <laughs> on the corner on Sunday third and main in her wedding dress waiting on Jesus he's coming back for his bride to take her home she'll sit by his side forever in heaven She never gives in She has a faith so strong Stronger than the wind and If I had a faith like Annie I could do anything I wanted to If I had a face that strong, I could move any mountain hard in the sea. If I had a face like any, I stare, call her crazy. They don't realize she's a saint. He's coming back again to take her home. And she'll walk through those gold Than the wind, and if I had a face like Annie, I could do anything I want to. If I had a face that strong. Sunday morning The Lord called in way She looked so beautiful in a wedding dress As she was laid to rest
I sing back up. That's all right. <laughs> Turn with me, if you will, this morning over to Exodus chapter 8. Exodus chapter 8. Jesus. In case you hadn't noticed, it's hot outside. And it's the 1st of July. July the 4th falls on a Wednesday this year. But most folks are celebrating the 4th of July. Amen. 4th of July, lots of folks talk about fireworks and cookouts barbecues, lots of folks at the lake, lots of folks enjoying time off, but it's the 236th birthday of the United States of America. We've seen some major changes just in the last 20 years. We've seen even more changes since September the 11th, amen. We've seen our Constitution be bypassed in, in the name of a Patriot Act. They call it the Patriot Act. How I many don't know no true no true patriot would ever support that act, amen? Not for a minute, amen. And yet they do an end run around our constitution with the Patriot Act since two thousand eleven. It's a they're happening, amen, in the world. But God says in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then while I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. Oh, I mean, go, just slip up your hands and just praise the Lord. Amen. Aren't you glad he knows how to take care of his own? Amen. He'll, he'll protect you on your spot of ground. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Exodus chapter 8. We need to pray for our troops, amen, overseas and here at home, amen. Lots of folks are separated from their families. It was unheard of years ago to be doing a second or third or fourth tour. Now men and women are doing eight and nine tours. And at the same time, they're fighting for Uncle Sam in many wars overseas that aren't justified and aren't about freedom at all, but about resources and about regime, regime change and about... America being an empire instead of a country. So many of those folks are forsaken by their own government. Well, they're battling and fighting for Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam's leaving their families at home to suffer with foreclosures, to leave their families without food, without, without basic necessities of life. Exodus chapter 8 and verse 22. And I will sever in that day the land of Goshen in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there to the end that thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth. And I will put a division between my people and thy people. Tomorrow shall this sign be. Anybody else notice when the spiritual line in the sand is being drawn, amen? Political lines in the sand are being drawn, amen? It's no longer comfortable to sit on the fence. Patriots are having to rise up in this day and this hour and choose freedom. But the battle is not between left or right. The battle is not between Republican or Democrat or Independent. The battle is between globalism versus nationalism and how many know nationalism is losing amen losing the battle on many fronts not only in this country but in many countries across the world the book of daniel talks about a dream that a king had one time and in that dream this statue had ten toes how many know the earth has already been divided up into ten regions amen this is the tenth region and you don't hear much about the north american union but it's coming. Those things are already in place. Amen. Let's go to John chapter 8. I mean, oh, true freedom costs something. True freedom is paid in blood. The blood of patriots. Amen. The blood of soldiers. The blood of God-fearing men and women. So in this time of celebrations and barbecues fireworks don't forget the, the word of God amen don't forget to look and see to your own family 
to the things that are happening in the earth. How many know prophecies happening every day? The winds of prophecy are blowing, amen. Oh, come, Lord Jesus, even so come quickly in Jesus' name. John chapter 8 and verse 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Who isn't that good news? Amen. Glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I mean, we're citizens of a heavenly country. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Father. How many can see judgment upon our own land? Amen. All of the western states seem to be on fire. The eastern states have experienced major power outages that affect nine states just in the last couple of days. There's been satellites down, and there's no explanation as to why, whether they've been taken offline, whether the satellites are affected, or whether it's been the servers due to the storms on the east coast. But we can see major changes in the weather, signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. We can see these things taking place because it's recorded in the Word of God. And how many know the Word of God will always come to pass? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 34 in John chapter 8 says, Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the Son abideth forever. If the Son therefore shall make you free, he shall be free in Indeed. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Romans chapter 6. How I many know oh, spiritual liberty costs something as well? In the natural realm, amen, it, talk, it takes the blood of patriots. It takes the blood of people that want a different way of life, that are willing to fight for what they believe in. Nowadays, nobody wants to fight. They want to fight one another, but they don't want to fight the things that really matter, that really affect all of us, amen. I think that's why the Lord talks so much about unity, especially in these last days. We need to believe that, you know, God always moves in unity. If we'll come in these church doors and focus on Jesus and not worry about one another, what everybody else is, focus on Jesus, amen. If you look at me too long, you're going to see faults. If I look at you too long, I'll see faults, amen. Religion is man's imperfect attempt to explain a perfect God, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Romans chapter 6. Spiritual liberty cost us something as well. Our old way of thinking. Our old way of life. We have to be willing to let go and let God. Amen. Our old habits of sin, if we continue to sin, we continue in bondage. But Jesus has made a way out. Amen. It costs control of our lives to let Jesus be Lord. Not my will, but thy will be done, O Lord. Is that your cry today? Amen. Romans chapter 6. On about verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants are ye. If his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you, being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. Oh, you ought to slip up your hands and give God some praise right there. Amen. Oh, aren't you thankful for His grace? I'm thankful for His grace. I'm